Hi guys, welcome to this module on Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, we are going to look at the Slide Master and a few features you can do within the Slide Master. So first of all, this PowerPoint presentation has four slides. It has an index slide with some hyperlinks and it has a hyperlink on each of these logos to get you back to the index slide. But in the Slide Master, if we go to the View tab in the Slide Master there, we have the option of adding different features to different slide types. So you've got a set of slide types, all the different slide types coming down this list. At the top, if you select this one, whatever you do on this slide will cascade through all the others. So you can either individually click on slide types and edit that slide type, or you can click on the top one and completely cascade the changes all the way down which is what I want to do first of all so let's have a look at this top one if I just click or point to this you can see there's a hyperlink there so basically what I've done is clicked on the image and then gone link and then it's already set up this one it's showing you placing this document index so every slide will have this logo because it's in the slide master and on the slide master, I've created a hyperlink to the index slide. I'm going to click OK to that. So when this is in full screen, which I'll just do right now. So if I go back to the slide master and close this, put this into full screen. There is a hyperlink to the index. So if I go to a slide, I can click on the index like that. So that's what that does. So back to the slide master. View slide master and that was on the top now what I also want to do is add some animation so first of all the animation add animation and entrance dissolve in is the one I want so that's in more entrance effects dissolve in click OK now this is all coming in together if I click play you can see that coming together which I don't want if I go to um, effect options, I don't have many options there, but if I click onto this drop down arrow and go into effect options through this route, I can then do this. I'm not interested in sound, but I can do don't dim. So change the don't dim to a color. So when each one of these loses focus, it will change to that color. Um, timings, I'm gonna leave the same, but this is what I want to change. At the moment, everything is coming in together, so I'm going to select level five. So that would allow me to click each line in individually all the way down to level five. Click OK to that, and you can see that previewing now fading to blue. I also want to change the bullet type. So um, if I go back to the home tab, you've got the options of different bullets in there, and I'm going to use these ones which are called star, but I like to call those dog's paw bullets. So I'm clicking on there and so on and so on. So whatever I put in this slide will cascade through all the others because it's the very top level. So if I just color this one in as well, if I go back onto the slide master and pick a background, I'll pick blue. So you can see it cascades all the way down and it's blue. Now, if I close the slide master, what you get now is you get this master body which I can't edit from this position and if I come back onto all these the same information is on every slide and if I put this into full screen presentation view uh, the hyperlink works there but as I go through the PowerPoint you can see everything is okay on this slide I'm happy with that I like this not fading, uh, nothing white, if I just backspace that, nothing else has come up there. So what happens is you press in away and the last one does not go white so that you now, you now know the next click is a new slide. Quite often I tell people to try and put just three items on a, a slide, which is easier said than done, I do know that. But I always set it up like this, so now nothing, if there isn't three items, there's more than three items, nothing's popped up, so the next click is a new slide. And off I go again, everything's coming in as I wish, 
nothing's popped up so the next thing is a new slide and it should be the index slide now this index slide is animating as well because it's picking up from the slide master slide I don't want this particular slide to animate so this is what I'm going to fix now so press to escape go back to slide master now there's lots of ways I could do this um, what I basically need to do is create a duplicate slide of either a duplicate slide or a duplicate slide master so I'll do both so right clicking on this one duplicate layout so now I've got two of these slides the same but on one of them I don't want the, um, the animation so I can't delete that animation there look so it's I've created a duplicate slide this animation is not on this slide it's on the top slide so if I take it off the top slide that's off all of the slides so then what I would have to do is on this one I would have to put that animation back on which I will do very quickly add animation dissolve in and then to level 5 okay level 5 effect options dim I probably need to dim a different color if I've got a blue background and level 5 okay on that slide but on the duplicate slide there is no animation so I would now need to um, make sure I can identify these two slides so on this one for this demonstration let's change the color to something else um, black so that one's black so that's one way that I can do this now I could also create a second set of slide masters so in, I could leave that one on the top line so I could have left that animated so everything was animated and then I could just go insert slide master and create a second set without any animation on so this would just be a plain set and if I color this one red you can see that this one would be a completely different color so you'd be able to identify it obviously I am doing extreme color schemes here to make it stand out for demonstration purposes in real life you would have something slightly more subtle than that you'd also have all the logos and the the same style of bullets and things because you just wanting to change one element of your presentation so if I close the slide master um, what I've got here is all these are uh, bullet lists so if I right click on this one and go to layout um, does that give me which way around have I done that one yeah so that doesn't give me any any, any animation in fact it might do actually so backspace that gives me animation that doesn't give me animation so that's how I want it or alternatively I could have right clicked on that particular slide and gone to layout and you can see the red set down the bottom there the other slide master that I created so either either way would work but you have now got control of these slides so you can just change that um, whichever slide you want you can just change them or you can change the whole set and you're maintaining the, the theme the style the bullets and everything you're just changing whether it's copying the animation through from the slide master or not so no animation animation coming from the slide master no animation no animation no animation so the blue slides have got no animation the black slides have go on to that one because I would want that to have animation that one not that one not either because that's a title slide and that's how you would do that but the color will probably be all the same and that's the end of this session i hope you've enjoyed that and i will catch you soon